Joining us now is Invesco Global Market Strategist Brian Levitt and Commonwealth Financial Network's Chief Investment Officer Brad McMillan. Good afternoon to you both. Brian, I'll start with you. We not only saw gains on the week for the major averages, but we are now actually higher over the past two weeks since the SVB bank run and failure. Are you surprised by that? Yeah, perhaps a little bit. I mean, the, the reality is, though, these things tend to end with a policy response. And so the markets had been very focused on the challenges that exist within the financial system and have been somewhat calmed by very quick responses by our policymakers. And now starting to look at what an easier policy environment could look like. Now, of course, we got the Fed rate hike this week, but to many, that's the last one. And you know, start looking ahead to what an easier policy environment looks like. So I think, you know, for investors, uh, the end of tightening cycles tend to be good environments over the next couple of years. So perhaps a little bit of comfort uh, as we as we assess what policy is going to look like uh, over the next months. Yeah, and we certainly saw yields fall uh, again today, Brad. Bond market is certainly pricing in the notion that this is the end of this tightening cycle. How do you see it? I think we've got a recession coming up, and I think that markets are responding to that. We're seeing interest rates come down. You know, when you look at a couple of things, first of all, we've got all of the backloaded rate hikes that are still showing up in the data. Second of all, we're going to have an immense tightening of financial conditions going forward. You know, the government has done a great job with the uh, term lending facility, and when you look at the numbers, it's being taken up. But that just that's a Band-Aid. It doesn't actually solve the problem. So banks are going to have to fix their balance sheets. They're going to be pulling back on loans. They're going to be to businesses, to people. You're going to see less spending. I think across the board, we are going to see a recession sooner and maybe harder than we thought. Hmm. Uh, yeah, Brian, uh, I guess it's kind of weird to cheer the Fed hiking less or maybe stop it because we're getting a recession, right? So you say uh, you favor high-quality fixed income here. Can you get specific on what that means uh, across different categories? Yeah, you, you know, market sentiment has obviously been, been somewhat weaker here, which suggests weaker growth ahead. So if you're a very tactical investor, we, you know, we say you want to be more defensive here. I mean, in mid-October of last year, we started to pick up signs of a recovery, the market getting enthused about a soft landing. And now the market is, is facing this unrest and you know, concerns about a recession. Now, I want to be clear, though. You know, we talk about higher quality. We talk about larger cap being protected if you're more tactical, being defensive if you're more tactical. But, look, this is how cycles play out. And the, this market has priced a recession. I mean, it's down 25 percent peak to trough. Could you retrace some of the gains that we saw uh, in the beginning of this year? Sure, as you as you move towards a recession. But, you know, investors that are looking over the next couple of years should be looking to a better environment. In almost every instance, when the Fed stops tightening and when inflation peaks and starts coming down, markets do well over the next couple of years. So okay. this is a moment where we've got challenges, but, you know, intermediate term investors should be looking out ahead of it.